A volcano operates through a series of geological processes involving the movement of molten rock magma from deep within the earth to the surface. Here's an explanation of how a volcano works. Magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock stored beneath the earth's crust. Magma forms from the melting of mantle rock due to high temperatures and pressures. Conduit, a channel through which magma travels from the magma chamber to the earth's surface. Vents, openings at the surface where magma, volcanic gases and ash are expelled. The main vent is usually at the summit, but there can be multiple side vents. Crater, a bowl-shaped depression at the top of the volcano formed by eruptive activity. Heat and pressure. Intense heat and pressure in the mantle cause rock to melt, forming magma. Decompression melting occurs when mantle rock ascends and pressure decreases, causing it to melt. Addition of volatiles, water and other volatile compounds lower the melting point of mantle rock, aiding in magma formation. Heat transfer. Rising magma can heat surrounding rock, causing it to melt and form more magma. Buoyancy. Magma is less dense than the surrounding solid rock, so it rises towards the surface. Pressure buildup. As magma rises, gas bubbles form, increasing pressure within the magma chamber. When the pressure becomes too great, it fractures the overlying rock, creating pathways to the surface. Effusive eruptions involve low-viscosity magma like basalt, which allows gases to escape easily, resulting in gentle lava flows. Explosive eruptions involve high-viscosity magma, like andesite or rhyolite, which traps gases leading to pressure buildup and violent explosions. Lava flow. During effusive eruptions, magma flows out of the vent and spreads across the surface as lava. Pyroclastic flow. Explosive eruptions can produce fast-moving currents of hot gas, ash and volcanic rock. Tephra and ash. Explosive eruptions eject solid fragments, tephra, and volcanic ash into the atmosphere. Lava flows can destroy structures and vegetation but generally move slowly enough for people to evacuate. Ashfall. Volcanic ash can disrupt air travel, damage machinery and cause respiratory issues. Pyroclastic flows, extremely dangerous due to their high speed and temperature, capable of obliterating anything in their path. Lahars, volcanic mud flows caused by the mixing of volcanic material with water, which can bury communities and infrastructure. In summary, volcanoes are geological formations that result from the movement of magma from the mantle to the Earth's surface. The process involves the formation of magma due to heat and pressure, its ascent through conduits, and its eventual eruption through vents. Eruptions can be effusive or explosive, creating various landforms and posing several hazards. Understanding these processes helps in predicting volcanic activity and mitigating risks associated with eruptions. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you never miss a new video.